Hey, how's it going? Andrew Barth producing in the box where I teach you how to make incredible sounding music with nothing else but just a laptop. So a couple days ago, Slate dropped the FG Dynamics, which is a SSL G channel emulation. And I made a video about it. So if you wanna watch that, I'll link it up here and just click that. Um, but a couple people asked me on YouTube comments and I had a few emails and people really wanted me to compare the Slate versus the Waves SSL G channel emulation. So I decided to put them to the test, put them head to head, and then let you decide which one is your favorite. So before we get into the video, if you wanna know how to get incredible sounding vocal recordings at your home, anywhere in your house, just click the link in the description and download my free guide called The Ultimate Guide to Recording Vocals at Home. In that guide, I talk about EQ and compression. I also talk about a thing called the pop-up acoustic treatment technique, where you can get nice, tight, clean vocals anywhere in your house, even if you don't have acoustic treatment hanging on your walls like I do here. It really is the ultimate guide to recording vocals at home. So if that's something you are interested in, just click the link in the description and download it for free. It is my gift to you. I'm just thankful that you're here, you're watching my content, and you're clicking subscribe if you haven't already. So click that little blue button right over here and click subscribe. So thank you for being here. Now let's get into the video. All right, so here we are. We have the Slate FG Dynamics, and we have the Waves SSL G Channel. And both of these are a G Channel SSL emulation. And right off the bat, I noticed there are differences between the two plugins. So Slate's lives inside of their VMR virtual mix rack. And this is a single plugin from Waves. Now there are the EQs on the Waves, and this is just the dynamic section for Slate. But if you want the EQs, We've had the EQ for quite a while, and you can stick that anywhere you want. But just for the sake of this video, we are just going to compare the dynamic section. So we also have a couple extra buttons here, and the threshold goes to negative 26, and this threshold goes to negative 20. So I wanted to start off the video with putting all of these settings here at the identical numbers. And then I wanna try to put the plugins at the identical knob spot. So turned up all the way, and then on like halfway. Cause the numbers are different between the two, even though the knobs are still at 12 o'clock. So I wanna make sure that you guys really have an idea of the differences between these plugins, um, even though they are emulating the same style. I have a stereo instance of the SSLG channel here, and I have the stereo link button clicked here. Um, there is also a mix knob on the Slate version, and there is not on the Waves. So if you wanted to do parallel compression, you're gonna have to throw the Waves version of the plugin on a bus and then blend it in that way. And it's super easy to, and nice to do it here with the Slate version. Okay, so enough about how things look and how they function. Let's get into the sound quality of it all because at the end of the day, that's what really matters the most. And I thought, what? a better place to test these things out than on a set of drums. It's what they're known for. It is really that just classic drum tone that you've heard on tons of your favorite records. And on this drum bus, I have virtual tape machines. Then I have an instance of FG Dynamics. And directly after that, I have the SSL G channel. I will be going back and forth between these two constantly. I will never have them both on at the same time. I will turn this one on and this one off, and vice versa. And then after these two plugins here, I have an EQ, a compressor, and then a little bit of revival. So let me pin this plugin here like that, and then bring in this one, go back and forth between the two, uh, nice and easy. And let's take a listen to these drums with the SSL emulations turned completely off. So these drums are sounding really, really good by themselves, um, but they need just a little bit of drum bus uh, compression here. And I wanna start at negative 18. And we're gonna start out at negative 18 here. Because remember, I wanna keep the numbers same for the first part of this video. And then for the second part of this video, I will start keeping the knobs on similar sections of the plugin. And then we're gonna do a six to one ratio here. And then we're gonna keep the release at four and a half seconds there. 
and let's see what the slate one sounds like. Now the waves. So right off the bat, I am hearing the Waves version hit those drums just a little bit harder. And that's why I think it's because, see how that threshold knob, it still says negative 18. But this knob is cranked up way, way more. So to even everything out, I'm going to crank both of these knobs all the way up. And then we're going to do the exact same thing again. So let's start out with Slate. So now they are starting to sound much, much more similar, but there still are some differences. And the differences might be here. We have a button here, which is a hard knee and then also a linear release. And we don't have those options over here. Um, so before we get into these buttons, let's try out the fast attack buttons. So let's try out Slate first. One really cool thing about these emulations is that fast attack, if you throw that on a set of rooms or room mics for your drums and throw that fast attack on and just crank that threshold up and then blend those mics in with your drums, it really makes those drums pop and nice, rich, and warm. It just does a lot of things, a lot of that magic that you're looking for for drums. So now let's turn the ratios up all the way as well and really just slam these plugins and see if we can hear differences between the two with the knobs all the way up and then we're going to do the exact same thing here in just a second with all the knobs at 12 o'clock so let's start out with slate let's turn the fast attacks off and let's try slate again All right, now let's take the ratios and put them exactly in the center here. And let's take the threshold and also put that at the center. We'll bring the release up. Leave that in the middle as well. So now the numbers don't match, but the location on the plugin does. And let's compare how they sound again. We'll start with Slate. Now Waves. Now they're sounding a lot more similar. Let's turn the threshold all the way to three o'clock do the same thing here. So all the way to three o'clock. We'll start out with Slate. All right, so now that I've really kind of tested the two different plugins here, um, I am going to just start playing around with the knobs and getting a nice drum tone in the one, and then I will do the exact same thing to the other. So there's Slate, now let's try the Waves. So 
So one thing I don't have is that mix knob, which just came in handy, and I just instinctively went and reached for it when I was blending in um, mix bus compression here. And I would have to throw this on a bus channel to do the same thing, which is fine. It's completely doable and completely reasonable, um, but it was just force of habit for me to reach over and grab this mix knob, and it made it just so nice and easy. Um, these plugins sound very, very similar, but they have different flavors to them. There's a few extra buttons that we have here. We have an analog switch down here. We have the EQ all inside of one plugin, and we have to bring in another module here. But honestly, with the knobs sitting at the exact same spot, not with the same numbers, but the knobs sitting at the same spot, they sound very, very similar. I think Slate can hit it just a little bit harder because of some of these other options here, like the hard knee. Um, but the waves sound good just as well. So that was a comparison on drums between the two different plugins. I really liked Slate's version of it because it had a mix knob, um, but I could also throw the Waves G channel on a bus and blend it in as well. I also noticed there was a hard knee button on Slate's version and there wasn't anything similar to that on the Waves. Like I said earlier in the video, they are two plugins that are emulating the same thing, but with different flavors. So let me know in the comments below, which one was your favorite and why? My personal favorite is the Slate, only because of that mix knob that just made things so much easier, but it will not make or break any mixes in the future for me. So thank you for being here. Thank you for suggesting this video and thank you for watching all of my content and clicking that subscribe button if you haven't. Just click this little blue icon like right here and click subscribe. So thank you for watching. Now, as always, go create.